Well, let me get rid of the easy one first. People know I take classified uh, documents and classified information seriously. When my lawyers were clearing out my office at the University of Pennsylvania, they set up an office for me, secure office in the Capitol, when I, the four years after being vice president, I was a professor at Penn. Uh, they found some documents in a box, in a locked cabinet, or at least a closet. And as soon as they did, they realized there were several classified documents in that box. And they did what they should have done. They immediately called the archives, immediately called the archives, turned them over to the archives, and I was briefed about this discovery and surprised to learn that there were any government records that were taken there to that office. But I don't know what's in the documents. I've, my lawyers have not suggested I ask what documents they were. I've turned over the boxes. They've turned over the boxes to the archives, and we're cooperating fully, cooperating fully with the review, and which I hope will be finished soon, and uh, there will be more detail at that time. That was President Biden responding for the first time to the news about these documents. Now, if you've been tapped into the opposite end of the political spectrum, if you can even call it the opposite end of the political spectrum and not the delusional void of space, time, facts, and reason that it is, well, then you've heard mega Republicans trying to equate this to the Trump raid at Mar-a-Lago. But this graphic from CNN clearly breaks down just how enormous of a difference there is between Trump being raided and Biden's lawyers finding the documents. First, Trump had over 160 documents and 60 of them were classified top secret. Biden had less than 12 and not all were top secret. Second, Trump had them in different unsecure living areas that random people had access to, while the documents found in Joe Biden's office were locked away in a secured closet. Finally, the documents Trump took with him were subpoenaed, meaning he knew officials demanded he return them and refused to do so. Biden, on the other hand, didn't know the documents were in his closet, and when his lawyers found them, they returned them immediately. Now before I go, I wanted to add a quick note to that little CNN graphic, and that's this. Trump has little respect for American security and was impeached twice and voted out of office after only one term because Americans don't trust him, while Biden served as vice president for eight years and then was elected to a position with even more top secret clearance than before, the president of the United States, precisely because he was trusted over the guy who kept the documents at Mar-a-Lago. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to share it with your friends and subscribe to get more videos delivered straight to your inbox. I'm Brendan Plank, and I'll see you in the next video.